time we were stretching it at the camp and then I gone to Dan Baker's gym and I had to put it on a couple of kids going to leave and I decided to put it on all the jail kids too because everybody uh, can a couple of you over here stand up okay stand up now just uh, spread out on the floor you can spread out too just stand up spread out now act like you're in a corner and you're getting ready for tumbling pass now act like you're kind of nervous about it okay it's like uh, double L double double whatever so you may be rubbing your legs, breathing hard, <laughs> stepping, touching, just anything you would do before. Okay, that's what it was. So I figured, okay, I'm just gonna put it on the level 10s. And it was right before level 10 nationals. And the difference in their floor scores of those kids and the other was amazing. So even if all these aren't, when I explain some of them in jail, some of them in the league, if you go by the concept, you want to fix it. Okay, girls, you can relax a little and get ready for your lineup, just to say who you are. And um, if you go by the premises of what they're trying, because even the artistry corners in the last lecture are way lenient now. So I'm going back to the, like, four, six years when we first started, eight, when we first started these artistry things and to the true start of it, because if it ends up showing up in J.O., and, and part of it is, it's that first version. And now they kind of run them up because now the corners are dancey, and so they forgot the first strictness. So I'm gonna explain the first strictness, and if you go by the premises of that, you will not have any of the standing too long, concentration pauses, all that other stuff you won't have if you understand how it came. And I know, I, I remember I was doing judging floor at a host meet in Seattle, and all of a sudden, everybody's getting deducted in the corner. And on beam and floor, you can get deducted before and after everything that might be considered as artistry, but it breaks into adjusting, it breaks into stopping, it breaks into many, many other things. And so, uh, all of a sudden, this kid goes up, and. She didn't have any artistry deductions in the corners, no corner move deductions. So I went over to the coach, I go, wow, who, who's your, your dance person, your floor person, your choreographer, who is it? And I said, that's fabulous. They go, oh, well, you did a lecture on it, and I filmed it and took it back to this person, and they did it, and no deductions. I said, well, tell them that is fabulous. I'm proud of them. That's awesome. Because we can explain it all day in the clinic, but if you don't put it on the kid, it doesn't really do any good. Okay, so girls, come line up over here and let's say your name, where you're from, in front of the audience, right here, right here, right here. We have to hurry fast because obviously time crunch. Okay. I'm Olivia. I'm 12, and I'm from Palm Desert, California. After show. Oh. I'm Parker. I'm 10 years old, and I'm from After Shop Gymnastics, and I live in Palm Springs, California. I'm Dakota, I'm 12 years old, I'm from Aftershock in <laughs> California, <Not sure>. Palm Springs. <laughs> My name's Aaliyah, I'm 9 years old, I'm from Aftershock in my 16 and I'm in Palm Springs, California. Don't live close to the Yes. Yes, good. I'm Katie, I'm from Breastfeeding mm -hmm. Gymnastics in Massachusetts, and I'm 15 years old. Um, I'm Amanda, I'm 16 years old, I'm from MCA in Massachusetts. Okay. I'm Carmel, I'm 12 years old, I'm from MSGA in Massachusetts. I'm Victoria, I'm 12 years old, and I'm from MSGA in Massachusetts. Awesome. Okay, girls, uh, we're gonna be, we appreciate you helping. I like a live coke, anytime I can get it. Okay, so, we're gonna start on the floor first, okay? And I'm gonna go over some of the deductions, but I just kinda wanna move on, because you can read the book about the deductions. I'm gonna give you ways and things to fix it, and ways to do it. So girls, you see all those little circle dots that you have there all over? Uh, if you spread out, find yourself your own dot. All the floor, spread out. I don't want you to, don't, you don't have to face the audience. It's like we're doing floor, so we're gonna do sections of your floor team, okay? And spread out, yeah. Okay, so uh, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pretend that's your corner, okay? So some of you need to be over here that space is not being used, okay? And you're gonna act like that's your corner and you're getting ready. So I just want you to do your dance that you do into your first pass, the beginning of your floor, whatever, the first part, and 
the, then that's your starting part for the diet. Okay, so you work on your first part of your floor routine, how you begin and how you step into the corner. So you may have to move off your dot and move into your dot. Just saying, okay. So anyway, so now you have a lot more of the artistry deductions, originality, creativity, okay, quality of movement, a personal style. And the biggest thing I wanna to get to is lack of precision, what they talked about. So with the overlapping of how you get into it, when we get to beam, it'll be very adamant, and you'll have to go back and put it on the floor. Because if I can do it on beam, it's much easier doing it on the floor, okay? So you'll, you'll really work with that. And you have all those concentration pauses, okay? Now, on top of it, J.O. has the concentration pauses on beam and floor now. We have adjustments where adjustments are part of it. So when we get into doing it, it's, it's not only stopping, when they start stopping, and then when they start shuffling their feet or doing anything to work, it looks like they are, oh my gosh, I'm getting ready for a pass. I hope, I hope I stay good. I hope I, it, that before and after, then they land and they go, oh my God, I made it, okay. Uh, in that frame of time, there's been a million deductions that they can one tenth you to death. And then what happens is the top judges that are judging the elite are either me referee or head judge for the J.O. So you can't get it out of their mind. So bottom line, they would appreciate if you put this in, it will show up because it looks beautiful. It looks like they don't know what's going to happen. All of a sudden, she does a double back. Oh, she's landed. She, she moves out of it. Okay? It's a moving in and out that's going to create that. Now, I want to get to this one part. Girls, you're not moving. Maybe you should go to the second pass. Okay, insufficient artistry throughout the entire routine. Lack of expression. Gestures like mimicking is, is a deduction. Failure to engage the audience. Inability to the musical thing. And then here is the most important. The entire exercise as a series of disconnected elements. That is huge on beam and floor. Huge. If it looks like it's uh, not like a sentence that's moving through and going. If you have periods everywhere and choppy, it's like doing a paragraph and chopping it all up and not making a sentence flow. It's the non-flowing, okay? So you can look at all that, but right now we're going we're gonna to take it to, um, and I just want to point out, see where it says at the bottom, background music? As I get into the five ways to train floor, you're going to figure out, and, and again, how do I say this? It's, you get a choreographer or you have one in your gym, whoever, doesn't matter. It's the follow through of the rest of it. You can't expect to come in and you don't know the kid and you're not working with them all the time to get all these things, these five requirements that I require of how to train a floor team. You can't get them, okay? And everybody wants to pass the buck on to someone else. I don't look at it as a choreographer's fault or a this or that because you have to emphasize and go over and over because they don't have 12 years of dance. They don't have modern jazz, ballet, hip hop, whatever. They have what we give them. And if they have to take some ballet classes, great. But I'm just saying, you have to reinforce it. So I'm going to give you some of the easiest ways to reinforce that. So it's not background music, or they don't, there's another deduction I didn't put in here. If they start and finish only on the music, then that's background, basically. Okay? It has to be all inclusive. Um, so, anyway, so you can you can read all of those because the artistry on is going to take a good while. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, did you have the adjustments, unnecessary steps? Okay. Okay, now, now we're going to address the corners. So, girls, get in your spot. Okay. And now, what I want you to do is move into the corner. Um, can you come here and get in that back circle over there? And then draw a line like you're going to go down. So, what I do, put an X in that. No, not that one. I don't want that one. No, no, one over there. Nope, uh, we only got one more choice there. Now put an X on that. Boom, boom. Now put a little straight line like you're going to tumble. 
So I ask those in the corner of every one of your uh, corners of your floor. Now I'm going to have her do her first part and go around to that X. And so she's not allowed to touch the X or go down anywhere near that line. She goes around it, around it, around it, up. Okay? Everybody do it. So act like you have an X on there. There's a diagonal you're going to go down. You're going to stay away from the diagonal. You're going to stay away from the X until you're ready to turn and tumble. Now, can I ask you to do it again? Everybody else, do yours. Ready? Go. And I want you to step on the X and then turn to go. Where's yours? Here, bit get a chocolate makers. Okay, everybody get a chocolate maker X. There's chalk up here. Yeah, we got it. Anybody comes? I don't know who did it to say we don't know. <laughs> okay. So everybody do your dance. Stay, ah, stay away from that line. Don't go near it. Mm -hmm. Yes, go across it, over it. But if you're standing on it, no, nope, you got to step on the X. So what happens? Okay, let's back up. Now I'm going to force each one of you to do what I'm going to ask because I've got to get to the artistry on me to get for. So now, everybody look at your X and face it. Now step, face that way and step in and do it just an arabesque turn. Just arabesque turn and go. That's how it originally started. Nowhere near the diagonal. And so everybody's going to do three different types. Because you cannot, you can only have one two foot, basically. And I do all four, no two foot. So when you get in trouble, just like me, no pivots. I put one at the end in case they need it, in case they get in trouble. Same bent thing. So everybody's going to step on it and do arabesque turn. Let's go. Step, arabesque. And then they tumble. So basically, if you're not doing these in your line drills, and you're not doing it in your tumbling, you're not going to get it in a floor routine. Are you going to blame the choreographer? No. Put it in your tumbling. And you should do ins and outs during line tumbling. Even if it's not their pass, their full. Maybe they do a double twist, triple twist, but they do run, a power hurdle, run off at Kent Spring. They do into it and out of a full. Doesn't matter. It's simulating. Okay, go again. Now this time do a different leg, one leg turn. Different one leg turn. Thank you. There we go. There we go. And now do another one. Different one leg turn. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take it like everybody's done throughout the whole career. Get over there, sweetheart. Okay. Get on your line. Get on your line. Now, you're going to do your dance straight down the diagonal and straight into that corner. And go. Do your dance straight in, straight in. You know, and then you do a turn in the corner to go unless you don't need it. Okay? Now then, move back and move away and pretend there's sharks or alligators on that line. And they will, or piranhas, it's even better. Okay? So go around through, curving, till you get to that and then do a one foot turn. So. Okay, can you do yours again? Yeah. Okay, everybody watch. Okay, go. Okay, so that is very cute, but has she left that spot? No, so I'm gonna do something, okay? You've already done the double turn. We're gonna pretend it's way far away, okay? Get where you did the double turn. Okay, now go to your first little wiggle wiggle. Whatever. Boom. Now then, you do one wiggle, then move and turn and do whatever. Yes, now pick up a foot and turn and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And keep the wiggling moving to that. So see how much you can wiggle that little tushy and move into the corner. And go, go. Yeah, that can move into the corner. Can you try to change direction and move? It's not the choreography. She looks cute doing that. But what happens if it stays in place too long? It loses the uh, element of surprise, the this and that. So I don't blame that on a choreographer in the sense I, I you need to just know the rules and the regulations and move it, move it, move it. Uh, I know Jordan Child when I went into her gym and I just took the floor routine, didn't matter who did it, and I just 
spread it out, curved it around, didn't change it, except for one ugly part, but <laughs> I can't find it. And just spread it around, and then she ended up getting first. It was not rocket science, she can tumble, okay? But they can one tip you to death, and it's just the look of it. You need to have an element surprise. So everybody did the same thing as her. You did not move across. Now, can you do yours again and really travel? Make it up. Make it big. And start moving. And go. Move across. Move across. Move. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, get off. away from that line. Get away from that line. Yeah, do it again. And I did not like. I like this. I can see. I, I know her. So she knows I love her. So in the lead, if you don't get corrections, you get your feelings hurt. So she's never going to have her feelings hurt. All <laughs> over. So now, <laughs> so now I want you to go from this side over way to that side and go. And big and move and move. Get out there. Get out there. Get away from the line. Get away from the line. You're on it. Ah! Okay, go. And move. That's it. That's it. That's it. Big. Make it up. It doesn't matter. There's not a right or wrong. And go. Better. Yes. So we lack in motor skills. So you need it. We'll try to go over some motor skills. We have chassés that are destroyed during the floor team, and they think the leaves are going to get good. But uh, everybody go, stay away from your diagonal. Some of it can, some of them can go over there if you're too close. Yeah. Step in the office right here. Floor pattern's 
So basically, so basically, I'm starting right up here, and I tumble. Now, if my whole floor routine consists on one side of the page, consists down the diagonal and loving that corner, that's a problem. You have to cover the areas as much as possible. I remember before the uh, last with Simone, Olympics, Amy came up and goes, Timmy, I'm trying to curve relief, but it's the only thing that's left that's straight. And I said, well, that's okay. It's one place that's straight. It's not like everything going down the diagonal. So if there's parts of it and they draw it, then they, they have to cover that area that is not being covered. So again, it's not like the choreographer. Maybe they, the choreographer knows all the rules, or maybe they don't. It's up to the coach, okay? And so if the coach happens to be the choreographer, great, twofold, okay? But at the same time, you know, you have to know the rules inside and out to do it. So then draw the pattern, and then whatever they draw or write down or whatever I create for them, do not throw it away. They keep it in their notebook. Because at any time under pressure, they're going to resort back or forget their routine. They'll do this. Anything, under pressure, anything can happen. Okay? So that you have to be ready to know where they are coming from. So drawing their floor pattern. Everybody done? Almost. Okay, so now then we're going to get into how I train uh, five ways to train a routine. Okay, so these... At, examples I use all the time. Different times of the year I go into different clubs and when it's in the time where they're supposed to be already have their cardio and I have the time where they do cardio and come in. Anytime during this close to a meet you need to be doing this because once it goes to podium I remember talking I think what we go years ago she goes Timmy why are our scores going down? Well you went up to podium now it's in the, the feet are in the judge's face and it goes down a point and a half. So if you're not doing some kind of isolation where you isolate the feet, the arms, the shoulders, whatever. Okay, girls, that's enough. Can you bring me one who's done? Okay. Did you put your name on it? No. Oh, uh, put your name on it. Don't want to lose it. Okay, so my little friend here. Did, and I don't know if you can see it, but here's her floor pattern. Okay? And that's normal. Okay? Very good. Now we can fix it. Good. Now, my little friend that I love is all over, but she's not in this area, this area, or this area. Does that make sense? So she's doing a lot of curving, and sometimes you may not be curved. Okay, another one. Uh, 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 her. Okay, so now if they know where they're at, they can adjust it when I do the next part. So this one has a little curvy twos in it, but there's a, bit, a hole here, here, here. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, cute. Almost looks like a state. <laughs> so she's got all this area happening, but not here. Okay, another normal one. Up, down, up, down. Does that make sense? Good. Okay, so she has a little creativity here, but it's all on one side, not on this side. So, again, this will come back and I've done it, right? Okay? So, girls, put your name on it, put it there. Now you're going to go down and you're going to do your whole routine, so you need to spread out in sections, okay? Now, what I'm going to ask them to do is I pick the five areas that we always had a wow athlete, okay? So the first one was Jenny Thompson. She had a wow with her feet. So this is for you're going to not worry about what the choreographer, don't do the pencil there, you might step on it, sweetheart. Yeah. So what happens is someone that always looks fabulous in one part, and that's what we're going to have. So the high relevate comes from Jenny Thompson. Somebody can move over in that area. And someone can move, can we put the board up and move in this area? 
So now I'm going to have to go through the first part of the routine. In high relevate, no matter how much choreograph, you are not to lower those heels at all. Ever. Anytime, anywhere, any place, die for you, right? Okay, go. High relevate. High four starts. Go. You let that heel. No, 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 no. It can't be down. Do it again. Yes, yes. Higher relevate. Higher relevate. I should see your calf muscle. I should see your calf muscle. And how are you getting off the ground? I want to see that. How do you get up? And high relevate. Remember, good. So they have to do high force arch. And what happens, it's up to you as a coach to decide when they may lower. But at least going high relevate, they'll start to work through their feet and put them down instead of stepping flat, 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 flat. And so now go to the next session and go. Hurry, because we have to move along. High relevate, high relevate. I don't want to see, if I can't see a calf muscle, you're doing great, Scarlett. I can't see anybody else. This is the thing, okay? She started out not wanting on toe. Now, I can't see anybody else but her. And, and that's what you want to do in warm-up. In warm-up, you should be able to do your floor routine, and I should be able to figure out what type of music you have. And that's not happening. Okay? So go, oh, I have a tangle. I don't see anything like a tangle happening here. Okay? So you should be able to impress someone. We have a big thing that some of us on staff do. Every meet we go to, we pick the winner and warm up. Yeah, and usually it works out. <laughs> because the, I can't take my eyes off her because she's in high relevate and I can see the difference. Okay? So keep going. Let's go. Everybody else, join her. High relevate. Get higher, bigger. I know you're flat. Oh, oh, don't put your heel down. No, never. I don't care. Yeah, never. There it is. You got it. That looks a lot better. Yeah, just forcing it. Okay? Because you can tell them to go. And there is a deduction in Elite. It's not in J.O. as much. In Elite, there's a deduction for being flat-footed and an overall flat-footed on beam and floor. So you need to really be able to have it. Okay, now the next thing. This is very important. These are head moves, and usually it's 5, 8 to 10 on the first corner, in every corner. Who had the best head moves? <coughs> Amanda Borden. She had a short haircut. Look back on it. They, someone thought we created a special music or something for her compulsory routine because it looks so good. I go, no. She has a head move for almost every single thing she does. It wakes up the music. It wakes up everything. And again, I can't blame the choreographer because they, if they're getting a routine, you have to give them something they can capture, and then you have to follow through with the head movement daily, daily, daily. It can't come. So it'd be nice if the choreographers maybe do more with it, but how are they if they're teaching them new motor skills, new this, new leaps? They may not can. So if they don't have it, maybe you should follow through and bring them in, or you do it yourself as a coach. So now what's going to happen? You're going to do your, your, corner, your first corner moves. And, or your second, you can do any part of your routine that has it, that's one of the corner moves going into and out of, of something. And you're going to try to have a head move for almost everything. And go. Like this. 